As you step out of your ship onto the surface of Fleabut, you are hit in the face by the harsh winds. It looks like a storm is brewing. Uh-oh. Meanwhile, another spacecraft touches down elsewhere on the very same planet. Uh-oh, it's Arnoid. How do you know his name? <laughs> he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator. Uh-oh, he's invisible. Explore first? No, because that guy's coming after you. Take off. Now. Okay. Push button. Okay. Oops. Uh -oh. yep. I already stepped off here. Okay. Oops. Uh -oh. oh boy, what's this guy? It's a snake. Look at the snake. A poisonous snake! You sure wish you had one like that! eaten. So, <laughs> now free, but doesn't sound like it's such a good <laughs> Congratulations on your recent death. Thanks for playing Space Quest 3. As usual, you've been a real hoot. Fully hop a hot. Okay, get in fast. Okay. You don't want to explore a bit more? No, because he's coming after you. So, right. And you don't have any weapons unless you... Okay. Uh, the engine's on. Okay. Take off. Okay, let's see where else we can go then. Oh look! Monolith Burger, a fast food dive in Sector 62. A finite number served. Wanna go there? Yeah. I <laughs> I don't think we have any money though, but we can try. Okay. A flashing message on your monitor attracts your attention. Throttling engines back. Approaching monolith burger. Sector 62. Oh look, the ah. Enterprise. <laughs> Is that Java? Ah, With the docking maneuver completed, the engine shut down. Welcome to Monolith Burger! You pop the hatch and ramble on in. The decor, like the food, is the same in Monolith Burgers all over the universe. Generic counter clerks are eagerly awaiting to help you. Diverse life forms are crowded around the counter and sitting in booths consuming what can only be only loosely be termed food. <laughs> the customers have better things to do than talk to a a small-brained biped from a hick planet. <laughs> Your eyes take in the diversity of alien forms without much interest. After all, you're quite a spacefaring kind of guy. The customers have better things to do. Okay, so I can't talk to them. Ouch! Quit crowding, jerk! trying to cut the line, I guess. Do I have to wait at the end of the line? Maybe there's another counter. Oh, look at this. The table's all dirty. Yes, the cold plastimoid tables are like millions of others you've seen. Come on, don't sit at a dirty table. 
Ah, look at that goofy looking alien. Welcome to my life, murder. May I take your order? He's the employee of the week. The clerk looks like he'd rather be doing anything besides waiting on you. Ah, uh, what a food. Oh. Uh, do we want the mini monolith? The monolith? Number two, the with poly cheese? And three, the filet o orat? The jumbo monolith with poly cheese? The Big Belcher combo includes Jumbo Monitor with Poly Cheese, Space Spuds with Extra Grease and Sloppy Slurper, uh, the Monolith Fun Meal, Space Spuds, or Tang, Small, Medium, or Large, or a Sloppy Slurper. What do you think we should get? Well, um, <laughs> maybe a Monolith, number two. A number two? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Uh, Maybe a C. What? You want a sloppy Slime. slurper? Yeah. Thank you. Anything else? Uh, ooh, space buds, which I'm guessing are French fries. Okay, space Thank buds. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Would you like some space buds with that? Yes or yes? Yes. Would you like battle fruit pie with that? Yes or yes? Uh, yes. He's a pushy counter clerk. Your total is seven buckazoids. Uh -oh. That's where we hit a problem. Maybe we can give him the orium. What? It'd be worth something. No. Nope. Cash only, please. And you don't get food. <laughs> no money, no food, dude. Astro Chicken by Scumsoft. Insert a buckazoid. Uh, we need money for this too. Astro Chicken must land on the Astro Chicken landing pad. He's depending on you to bring him to safety. Controls left hour, move left, down arrow, stop left, right movement, move right, up arrow, toggle, flapping, feed. Don't use up all your feed and hit the landing pad too fast and you'll bounce back up. Landing outside the landing fat pad is fatal. If you fly too high, you'll bounce off the atmosphere. So I don't know. I don't think we could play it, but let's try it. You don't even have a buck. All right. So we can't play a game. Can't eat food. Well... At least it's, it's better than the volcanic. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's in here. Maybe, maybe this guy has some money. Out of my airlock, geek! Hmm. Let's see if we can steal from him. Uh oh. That's it for you, bozo! Don't trust guys in black spacesuits. A pulse laser blast to the forehead is not your idea of fun. Fortunately, it didn't hit anything important. <laughs> Except his brain. Alright. Oh. I guess it's back to the ship. Yeah. It, it was worth taking a load off. Yeah. Maybe if we get money, we could come back and actually get some food. You slide back into the ship, closing the hatch behind you. The docking control begin beam begins guiding you safely clear of Monolith Burger. Alright, so let's look at the screen here. And, uh, turn on the engines. And the navigation system, see where else we could go. Okay. Ortega. Looks like those are the only places we could go. I think we should go here because this is this is the only place that we can kind of explore without burning up alive. I know, but he's that guy that touched Maybe he left. Yeah, I guess 
someone lives there, so. Yeah. Settlement. Yeah, there is a settlement there. Maybe we can get some money. <laughs> Find out where Xenon is. A flashing message on your monitor attracts your attention. Orbiting planet. Find out. Okay. Back on flea butt. Flea butt. Oh no, a venomous scorpizoid! Watch out! The scorpizoid stinger hits its mark, sending electroplasmetic venom into your system. Death comes quickly. Alright, this place is pretty dangerous. Thank you for playing Space Quest 3. As usual, you've been a real boot. Congratulations on your recent death. It's Oops. like an Arizona mm. Let me load this planet. one. It's like a what? An Arizona planet. Yeah. What's over here? This. Ooh. You see several large rocks here. One rock has a large overhang and almost appears to be a cave. Under the overhang, you see several large pulsating pods. Stuff in the Let's see what's. Oh boy! Oh, nah. <laughs> Look at that blood. Congratulations on your recent Hi. death. All right. Oops. I keep loading that one. I want to load this one. Uh. All right. Maybe so let's. Maybe you should save. Like here. Should save here. So if you die. Yeah, well, we saved right before there. So we don't want to go under there. Oh, the snake. Can we leave? Get out of there. Don't want to get eaten by the snake. What's over here? Uh oh. Scorpion again. Okay, what's up here? This place is pretty dangerous. Maybe we're getting close to the settlement. Maybe. Oh boy. There are fewer rocks and more sand in this area. Oh. Is that a big monster? Please don't tell me that's the settlement. <laughs> you are startled by the sight of a giant beast just beyond the sand dune to the north. Is he walking? What's, what's he doing? Your fear turns to curiosity as you realize that it is not a real beast, but a mechanical creation. Although it still looks dangerous, you can't decide whether to blast off this rock or inspect further the wonders of Fleabutt. Maybe that's the... Maybe that's the, the settlement. Yeah, okay, well, let's go over there, find out. World of Wonders. <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? Alien scum. Aha! A tourist trap. This giant metal facsimile of a space beast is nothing more than a cheap marketing ploy designed to suck in any moron dumb enough to fall for such trickery. You suddenly feel like a dumb moron. It's on this table here. You peer through the glass of dis the display case and find a cute and cuddly little creature. A small sign on the glass informs you that this is an Antarian slime devil. How cute! Ooh, Antarian slime devil. Open the case here. Oh boy! <laughs> they may be cute, but only an idiot would get near one. Looks like you won't be around to appreciate the other diverse wonders of this garden spot of the universe. Uh oh! Oh wait, no, you saved her here. 
Stranger, the name's Blatz, Fetster Blatz. Welcome to the World of Wonders. Go ahead, have a look at some of the trendiest items in the known universe. Make the most of your vacation, Buckazoid. Wait, no, have Buckazoid. Imagine, if you will, a sleazy tourist trap in the middle of the howling desert of on Fleba. The proprietor looks like the unfortunate offspring of a union between a squid and a Vorlian gas beast. His keen business mind and utter lack of scruples afford him a comfortable living here on the backside of civilization. <laughs> He's not listening to you. He likes the sound of his own voice. How about a nice orat on a stick? The kids will just love this. We're talking hours of fun for the whole family. Just look at how cute this little guy is. Here it costs 25 buckazoids, and you don't have that much. So how how do you think we can get money? Well, uh, maybe somehow. You examine one of the many interesting postcards. Arrakis, a great spot for winter travel. Arrakis holds many delights for the adventurous vacation. Nothing can compare with a blinding dust storm or being crushed by a sandworm. Place stamp here. You examine one of the many interesting postcards. Black Hole Bertha! Like a giant interstellar vacuum, Black Hole Bertha comes sweeping through the galaxy. All travelers are advised to stay away from Bertha. Just buy the postcard. Then everyone... <laughs> just buy the postcard, then tell everyone you went there. Ortega! Ortega! The volcanoes of Ortega are constantly reshaping its surface. Dressed in heat-resistant underwear, the hardy travelers can find a lava lover's paradise on this starkly enjoyable planet. So you need heat-resistant underwear to to resist the heat. Now here's a red-hot item: the official Astro Chicken flight hat. You'll really turn heads in this sporty little number. It's modeled after the hot new arcade game that's sweeping the galaxy. Going to any high temp planets? This nice pair of thermal wave underwear will keep your internal environment pleasant on even the sweatiest worlds. That's exactly what we need for Ortega, the thermal underwear. You just take your time in here. Don't feel pressure to buy anything. Roberto Land. Roberto Land, come join the fun at the fun park of the future. See characters from your favorite stories come to life again. Recently resized. Don't miss a single thrilling scene. Roberto Williams is the one that did Space uh, King's Quest. You examine one of the many cards. Beta Alpha Starless Region. Looking for some real solitude? Come to a place that's so far from everything that you can't even see stars. Mind-numbing boredom greets you as you drift aimlessly through nothing. A must for the brain dead. And the others? Ar Acheron. Wish you were here. The friendly creatures of Acheron are delighted for young and old alike. Tame enough to come right up and caress you, yet wild enough to slash you to shreds if provoked. Alright, so this one we already read. Let's look at the shell. How about a nice ore on a stick? Sell those three things. The shelves are arrayed with some fine examples of the natural wonders of this planet. Also some worthless junk that can only be found in a fine tourist establishment such as this. Glass. Look. Display. The glass counter, smeared with fingerprints and who knows what else, of countless off-world species, covers an impressive array of overpriced rocks and gems. So he's collecting gems. Atop the counter is a rack of colorful postcards from all corners of the galaxy. So you notice that he's collecting gems? Do you think he'll want to buy our gem? Show gem to man. Ooh! <laughs> my, my, that certainly is one hunk orange. I'll take take it off your hands for 350 buckazoids. What do you say? Yes or no? Yes. 
think we can hold out for more, though? I think we can hold out for more. I'll take it off your hands for 400 buckazoids. What do you say? Sorry, one more time. Uh, everything is 25 buckazoids. So we can afford it no matter what. Alright, let's buy for 425. Alright, let's let's buy everything. Buy Orat on a stick. A very wise choice, I'm sure you'll be very pleased. Orat on a stick! You can open its mouth and close its mouth. Hours of fun for all. <laughs> skeleton up there. The shelves are arrayed with fine examples of the natural wonders. So there's really nothing important about that. Ooh, okay, let's buy Astro Chicken Flight Hat. Buy hat. <laughs> A wise choice, I'm sure you'll be very pleased. Cool, now we got an Astro Chicken Flight Hat. Wow! Your official Astro Chicken Flight Hat! Man, the babes will really dig you in this! Alright, let's wear it. You don the jaunty hat. You feel more sporty already. Yeah, yeah let's buy the underwear. A wise choice, I'm sure you'll be very pleased. Put on the underwear. Not a good choice considering your location, so I guess we'll have to save it for later. Alright, let's leave. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, looks like that lightning is getting close. Better be careful out there. Look at his hat. Oh boy, uh oh. Oh, my hat. Oh no. So this is Roger Wilco, the man I have been sent across the universe to track down and terminate. I am not impressed. You are too easy to find. You tend to leave a mess wherever you go. Oh, the people at the Gippozoid Novelty Company are most displeased. Non-payment is a serious offense. So they're mad because I didn't pay for that whistle. But lucky for you, I'm in a good mood today. I will count to ten real slow, then I track you down. If you make it to your ship, forget I see you. But if I catch you again, I dust you like bunt cake. Remember that whistle we we, we got in Space Quest 2? That we ordered? The Labian Terror Beast mating whistle? Oh yeah. We didn't pay for it. So now... Congratulations on your recent death. If you put it on fast mode, does that mean he goes fast too? Yeah. The desert to the north grows darker as storm clouds loom overhead. You find yourself at the base of a gigantic metal model of a great beast. Let's look at this sign. There are two signs here. See Fleabutt from Mog's Head. Entrance free. Sorry, temporarily closed for repair. You're inside one of Mog's legs. There is an elevator shaft complete with elevator leading up into the chamber. Gee, one button says up and one says down. Okay, here we go. You're within the cavernous interior of Mog's belly. An elevator shaft leads down, and stairs run between the first and second level platforms. 
The heavy equipment necessary to automate Mog can be seen on the upper level. Wait, I think where we bought the, the whistle from. Remember in Space Quest 2 that we ordered it? We had that order form that we put in the mailbox? Oh yeah, we didn't pay for it. Yeah. Uh oh. He found us. Oh boy. I see you, Wilco. Hide, hide. If you can. You think we could push him into those the, those gears there? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Got grinded up. <laughs> Congratulations on your recent death. Okay. Where should we go? But she, you think we could trick him? I guess somehow. What are these hooks? What? Look, rope. There are two rope pulleys near the motor and gears. Apparently they are used for maintenance of the equipment. Looking up, you notice that they are mounted on tracks running the length of the second floor platform. Okay. Maybe you can throw that at him. Okay. Reaching up, you give the rope a mighty shove. Yes, pow! Nice. Is he dead? Yeah. The Terminator is now a pile of junk on the first level platform. Looking closely, you notice the Terminator's invisibility belt has survived relatively intact. Not quite within reach. Now, I remember there were actually two ways to kill him. This yeah. way is the easy way, but there's a harder way that actually gives you more points, and I'm gonna show you that way. Just gotta buy this stuff again. Let me just. I, just, I wanna see how much I can hold out for with him. wanted to hold out for more. <laughs> Oops. No, I want I want to show you um there's another way to beat him. Uh show Orion. I want to see how much money I could get from him. Well, Fred can't go any higher. Maybe some other time, eh? So 425 is the most you could get. Yes, sir. -y, that's one fine. Of course, the Orium is all. Uh, Mark, it's a little slow today. Oh, now he goes really low. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's best to take that offer when he gives it to you. The 425 is the best offer you could get. Say yes. Buy a hat. Buy or a hat. And buy the hat. Uh, the underwear. Okay. I like wearing the hat. See, this is, we skipped one of the dialogue boxes. We'll see it again. So, this is Roger Wilco, the man I have been sent across the universe to track down and terminate. I can barely do an Arnold impression. I'm not impressed. You are too easy to find. You tend to leave a mess wherever you go. I am Arnold. That's about That's all I could do. Seems you forgot to pay for that Labian Terror Beast mating call whistle. Now, let's see, with interest that comes to 400,000 buckazoids. I don't think you've got that kind of cash on on you, hmm? No, I don't think so. I wonder how long we were asleep. The good people at the Gibbazoid Novelty Co. are most displeased. 
Non-payment is a serious offense. But lucky for you, I'm in a good mood today. I will count to ten real slow, then I track you down. If you make it to your ship, I forget I see you. But if I catch you again, I dust you like bundt cake. All right, so I'll show you the other way we could defeat him. I know, but he... <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> How do you destroy him? I'll show you in a bit. You're surrounded by sand and rocks. Oh! Wasted too much time. This way is a little bit harder. You have to. Can you think about what I'm, what, how I'm gonna do it though? You have to lead him to the snake. Not the snake. What was the other thing that killed me on this planet? Um, the scorpion. Not, and, not the scorpion. The scorpion and, can't and kill the an android. The pods, yeah. You have to lead him underneath this. Now we just gotta wait for him. Huh, he's not coming. No, he's gonna come! Okay. So it's best you. Where are you going? Trying to see if I see his footsteps anywhere. Oh, they. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's go a little faster. Don't stop to look. Is going to be time for tourist attractions from me? There he is. See that footstep? Yeah. Um, it's not coming. Uh -oh. oh, shoot. He missed it. I got to get it so that he comes from the other direction, I think. No, I like it this way because you get more points. All right, let's see if he's coming. There he is. Look. Yes. All right. Now you just need to get back to your ship. Well, I want to no. get that belt from him. I know, but you have to save. Terminator is now just a pile of junk lying on the sand under the pustules. You don't have it. So in order to get the belt, because the other way we could just take the belt. But what are we going to do about the belt here? Well... Search remains... Search body. Search robot. The Terminator is now just a pile of junk lying on the sand under the pustules. Looking closely, you notice the Terminator's invisibility belt has survived relatively intact. Let's take it. Get closer. Alright. So we can't take the belt because we can't reach it because the pods will eat us if we go underneath. So how, can you think of another way we could reach it? What do we have? We have an ORAD on a stick. You think we could take grab the belt with that? Maybe. Use ORAD with belt. There we go. <laughs> okay, now get to your ship. 
So now we've got the invisibility belt. The Terminator's invisibility belt! Yay! And we've got 350 Buckazoids. We've, we've got Thermal Wave Underwear for a Tega. And we still got our Oret on a stick. But we lost our flight hat because it fell off. But we don't need it anyway. Alright, let's go. It just makes us all good. Yeah. Um, so now we got money. Now we can actually go to uh, Monolith Burger. Let's uh, do that. Well, it's a good thing he's destroyed. Mm -hmm. Now we have one less thing to worry about. Yep. Let's use the navigation system. I mean, you can use the invisibility belt to get into that guy's spacecraft. Yep. Good idea, we'll try that. Let's set course. Except us is pretty good. Yeah. Course locked. Alright, light speed, here we go. Nice. A flashing message on your monitor attracts your attention. Throttling engines back, approaching Monolith Burger. Enterprise came for a second visit, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, let's get a monolith and. Let's get a monolith and some spuds. Okay. We'll go up to the map now. Okay. So you want to get a number two and ah. space buds? Yeah. Careful. Okay. Would you like something to drink with that? Yes or yes? Yes! Would you like some space buds with that? Yes or yes? Yes. Would you like a bat fruit pie with that? Yes or <laughs> yes? Yes. Special today, a free drink with every purchase. Awesome. Okay. Your total is three buckazoids. Okay. Let's pay the man. Have a nice day. You gingerly pick up the greasy bag. You can hardly wait to have a seat and dig in. Yay! Yum yum. Mmm, <laughs> that was mighty tasty. Well, maybe mildly tasty. Well, maybe not tasty at all. In fact, it reminded you of the slick skin of a Vorlian mucus worm. At least you got something to eat. Yeah. Astro chicken, yeah. Astro chicken. Okay. <laughs> Insert Buckazoid. <laughs> oh. The, 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 Game over. Uh. Well. <laughs> uh. Let's try that again. Let me look at the instructions. Astro Chicken by Scumsoft. Astro Chicken must land on the Astro Chicken landing pad. He's depending on you to bring him to safety. So, left arrow moves left. Gotta push up to flap. Don't use up all your feed. I guess you use up your feed as you flap. If you fly too high, you'll bounce off the atmosphere and plummet back to the surface. Alright, let's try this again. Yay! No. 
Yay! <laughs> ah. All right. <laughs> Enough of that. Well, let's let's do what you said. You said wear the invisibility invisibility belt, and uh, yeah, let me erase Monolith Burger here. Okay, so now if we wear it and go invisible. Okay, you wear the belt. Use the belt. Push button on belt. Looking at the belt, you notice that the power supply is very low. You decide to hold off until you really need it. Oh. Let's order a uh, kids meal or something. Maybe we'll get we'll get a toy. No, actually, no, let's get the big belcher combo. That's the one I think that comes with... Oh, no, the fun meal. The fun meal comes with the toy. Thank you. Would you like something to drink with that? Yes or yes. Would you like some space buds? Would you like some bat fruit pie? Free drink with every purchase. Seven buckazoids. Pay the man. What if we could die by eating too much monolith burger? <laughs> Have a nice day. You gingerly pick up. All right, let's eat it. Well, are we still wearing a stylish belt? Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ow! Hey, what's this in my burger? Oh, it must be my fun meal prize. Hey, it's a swell decoder ring. Let's look at it. Monolith decoder ring. With this ring, you can decode any secret message. Well, almost any secret message. I swear. You decide to leave the ring in the relative safety of your pocket. All right, let's play this in some more. I remember I used to beat this. I think you do have to beat it to continue with the game. Um. Why do you have to be that so chicken? So. You'll find out. Probably mm. long for Oh, shoot. Mm. Oh, oh, no! No! Alright, let me try that again. Okay. I'm gonna go for a little break. Okay. You wanna try playing this? When you come back? If I haven't beaten it. No, oh, shoot. This is so hard. Oh. Ah, so much for that guy. Ah! Try again. Where did he go? <laughs> he disappeared. Using up on my feed. Ah. Okay, let's try this again. Don't stand there, Gulkin. Let's play some extra chicken. Ah, uh, Brokazoid. How do I spell it? Okay. Uh. Oh, no. 
Ugh. Ah. Ah. This is hard. I forgot how hard this one was. Ah. Wow, I'm bad at this. Let me turn the speed down a bit. Oh, come on. I was so close. Kaboom! Still trying it. Oh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Oh, come on. That should have worked. Mm. Well, you can't go down too fast. That's oh, come on. That was so slow. You almost there. Yes. No, don't bounce. Come on. Yes! I don't need oh, oh god, it came down way too fast. No. I think you gotta rescue like three or four maybe. How, how many was this? I've done two so far. No, don't bounce them! Yeah. Go for it. Which arrow keys you do? It's the uh, up arrows and the left and right. Up arrow flies up, left and right flies left and right. Okay. Tuesday. Uh. <laughs> Try it again. Wait a minute. We what? got a we got a secret message. Oh yeah, the decoder. Let's use it. Use decoder. Ring. The secret code oh. goes something like this. Oh boy. So we've got to somehow translate each letter here. Okay. Okay, so the help us. We are being held. What is that? An S? We are being held captive by Scumsoft on the small moon on Pestilin. Um, is that an A? A N, and that's I think that's an N. They do kind of look like the letters, if you notice. Okay. And... Is that an I? Oh, an impenetrable force field surrounds the moon. Uh, what is that? It... What is... That looks like an A, but that's not an A. Um... This one here. When oh, the mouse is gone. Oh, A. I think that's. 
on, let me see. What's this one? That. That looks. Oh, hold on. Oh, an M. Okay. It must be destroyed. And probably. It must. What is that thing there? It, um, it must be. Oh. I clicked the button there. Oh, we gotta play it again. All right. Um, I know what I can do. Space Quest 3 decoded message. Here we go. Someone decoded it already. Wait, wouldn't that be taken on the TV too? No. Let's see if they have the message written here. Help us! We are being held captive by Scumsoft on the small moon of Pestilin. An impenetrable force field surrounds the moon. It must first be deactivated. Its origin is unknown to us. Scumsoft's security is armed with jello pistols. We're counting on you, whoever you are. Two guys in trouble. Uh-oh. Maybe it's the two guys from Andromeda. Yeah, I think that's who it is. So, um... So we got our secret message from uh, the two guys from Andromeda. A small moon of pestilence. Let's see if we can find that on our navigation system, so we could save the two guys from Andromeda. You slide back into the ship, closing the hatch behind you. So let's uh, look at the screen here. See if we can find Pestle in our navigation system. Navigation, stand by, radar, light speed, attack speed. Okay, let's resume the scan. Planet Ortega. Well, now that we have the, the underwear, let's see if we could go there and, uh... Hold on. Just want to look some more? Um, we'll scan some more. I, I don't think... I think we've scanned through all the planets. Um, oh, yeah. There's Fleabutt. But we haven't really ex explored Ortega yet. And now that we have the underwear... Yeah, might be a good planet to go to. And I was able to ca catch a glimpse on. I was able to catch a glimpse on another. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. So. Guys from Oops, Andromeda. not attack speed. This speed is great for astral combat, but not for jumping across the galaxy. This could take forever. Okay, gotta look at the screen again. What were you saying? I was able to catch a glimpse on on, on a uh, another thing when you were looking on it. So it, I think we have to. Go. Oh, okay. It's probably where they sit in the passenger seats there, the two guys from Andromeda. Blasting missions on your monitor attracts your attention. Orbiting planet Ortega. Alright, let's land our ship. wants to kill us. Mm -hmm.
With a mighty wump, you set the aluminum mallard down on the surface of Ortega. Okay, let's don our underwear, our thermal wave underwear. You'll have to stand up for that, obviously. You should seriously have, like, a monkey sidekick. <laughs> I used to write comics based on Space Quest when I was about your age, and he did actually have a monkey sidekick in, <laughs> in the comics I wrote. What was his name, Mr. Bobo? I forgot, actually. It was like a... I think they were all named Roger Wilco. <laughs> okay. My, my, this is one hot planet, but you don't care. You're beating the heat with thermoweave underwear. Nice. Yeah, All right, so let's save here. Save over the old Ortega save, since now we can actually survive the heat of this planet. And let's go exploring. Away in the belt end. Oh. The I, I think we need the invisibility to get to the two guys. Yeah, it'll probably come in handy. In the distance, volcanoes spew magma from deep within the molten interior. The planet Ortega is truly a lava lover's paradise. Volcanic activity constantly reshapes its surface. So if you have any maps older than last week, throw them out. This doesn't look like a safe place to walk. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, oh. Oh boy, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It appears that parts of this planet's surface are not entirely stable. Better be careful or you'll end up in that lava fondue below. Who are these people? The planet Ortega is truly okay. Uh, yeah. Same as before. Look at the men. Obviously loyal company men, the Scumsoft employees are happily performing their duties. The Scumsoft! They're the bad guys that captured the two guys. But looking at their weapons, you probably don't want to get too close. Alright, let's save. Maybe we could fight them. Oh. First, let me reason with them. Oh! Guess you can't. That's quite the uh, jello guns. That's what they that's what the two guys said. They're armed with jello guns. Way to go, East! You blundered your way within range of the pirate's jello gun. You suffocate an impenetrable block of jello. Well, that's a good way to die. Yeah. Just like mom used to make. As your life sputtle sputters to a close, you decide to cut down on desserts. Alright. So what are they doing? There's a telescope, an anometer pole, some seismic equipment, and a crate of some sort. What happens if I talk to them from here? Get a little closer. Listen, two men. No. Reason with men really fast. <laughs> oh, they're leaving. They, they have like a telescope, some seismic equipment to measure the, the volcanic activity. Maybe you can find a ray gun. It's like they're scientists of some sort. You hear the roar of the pirate's scout ship taking off. The ship streaks across the sky to an unknown destination. Pirate ship. They fly in pirates' ships. Why would they leave their stuff here? I don't know. Maybe we can take it though. Most of the stuff is too heavy for one person to carry. And this is why he should have Mr. Bobo with him. But he has a ladder in his pocket. <laughs> Look at the telescope. It looks like it's probably used for surveying stuff like that. Oops. Spelled telescope wrong. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's a moon. Aha! You've discovered the force beam generator, and that moon must be Pestilon. 
So that's the that's the uh, that's the generator that we have to deactivate. Because the thing is, how are we going to get there? It's a good question, but it's on this planet, so we're on the right track. So first, so it's kind of like Return of the Jedi. Remember where they had to de deactivate the force field on Endor, the force field that was around the Death Star. I'm so I had to blast all of them. Yeah. We're gonna have to do it without a blaster. I think it's because Roger Wilkins is a badass that way. A what? A badass. Because he can do all this stuff without a gun. What's in here? Look at the box. It's full of thermal detonators. Ooh. Thermal detonator. Remember that in Star Wars, right? Yeah. You pick up one of the detonators. Be careful, you could blow your fingers off with that thing. Right, thermal detonator. Used for blowing stuff to little bits. It has an impact switch. So in other words, don't drop it. Okay. 